Welcome to Kids Leisure Time. Hi kids, today Harim and Harun are about to embark on a magical adventure to learn all about units of measurement. Are you ready to join them? Let's go! First stop the garden of length here Foxy teaches them about measuring length using meters, centimeters and neurometers. Hello, Harim and Hurain. A meter is like a big stretch, a centimeter is a tiny step, and a millimeter is an even tinier step. Well, Mr. Rula. So, a meter is the longest and a millimeter is the shortest. That's right, Hurain. Let's measure this flower. It's 30 centimeters tall. Next Harim and Haran visit the kitchen of late where Miss Foxy helps them understand grams and kilograms. Hi there. In the kitchen, we use grams for small things, like sugar, and kilograms for heavier items, like flour. So, a kilogram is bigger than a gram? Exactly, Harim. Let's weigh this apple. It's 150 grams. Now Harim and Harun head to the beach of volume here Miss Foxy explains liters and milliliters. Welcome, kids. A liter is a big splash, and a milliliter is a tiny drop. Can we measure the water in this jug? Sure. This jug holds one liter of water. Harim and Haran's adventure takes them to the mountain of temperature here Miss Foxy shows them degrees Celsius. Hello. We use degrees Celsius to measure temperature. When it's cold, the numbers are low, and when it's hot, the numbers are high. It's freezing here. What's the temperature? It's minus 5 degrees Celsius. In the park of time, Miss Foxy explains seconds, minutes, and hours. Hi, kids. An hour is made of 60 minutes, and a minute is made of 60 seconds. How long is our adventure? It's been an hour so far. Back in the classroom, Harim and Harin learn about the metric system. It helps people measure things all over the world. There is a standard way of measurement called metric system, which is almost universally used, but in some countries they use imperial system. We have learned them one by one. So, meters, grams, and liters are all part of the metric system? Harim and Haran had a fantastic time learning about measurements. Now you know how to measure length, weight, volume, temperature, and time. See you next time, little explorers. We hope you had fun. Bye-bye. Keep measuring. Don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the excitement.